Okay guys, it is day five and today we are actually leaving the island, but we thought we would squeeze just a tiny bit more fun out of our little trip here because we approach trips the same way you would a 12 hour, seven day a week job. We don't quit. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you real quick, we picked up Dr. Pepper because it's, it's more rare to find here in Japan. You can buy it at Costco and places like that, but you don't usually see it in vending machines. And it was here in vending machines in Okinawa, which was great to see. And it's the tall boy too, it's not the tiny can. And you know, it, it's cool, it's got like, um, right here, can you see it? It's got the katakana version of uh, Dr. Pepper, which yeah, okay, cool, whatever. Some people were really excited about that. But on the back, what the hell is that? I mean, I haven't been in America in three years, so your cans there might have it too, but damn, what the hell is that picture? So I just thought that was kind of cool. I thought I'd show you that, and we're headed off to some adventure. Okay, guys, we're here at Okinawa Churami Aquarium, and we're going to go ahead and check it out and see all the different sites there are to see. It's supposed to be a pretty nice aquarium. Here's a place where you can actually, you can reach in and touch this stuff. Let's see, how does this feel? Kind of gooey, nasty. Ooh. I can't reach in too far, I've worn the wristbands. Oh well. How does this guy feel over here? Oh, kind of spiky. Interesting. I don't think you're supposed to take it out like that. So this is what happens if you touch a Conus Geographus. It's given us an actual to scale model. Go ahead. The spike comes out. Ow! Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's part two of our instructional manual of how you get stung by fish. Go ahead. Up, up, up. They're coming up. Oh, ouch. ouch. And then look, it tells you how to deal with the venom from these spines. Pretty instructional.
um, it's got a very scientific name. I think they actually call it giant sea booger. And as you can see, it represents a giant sea booger. What? Okay, this is just straight sci-fi right here. What the hell is that? Every aquarium I've ever been to has a giant dead squid. Why did none of them ever show me a giant live squid? That's a big sucker. Okay guys, that's the end of our little aquarium tour. I think the best thing about that was the whole time I was looking at all the fish, I could hear people in the background say one or two phrases. And that was either kawaii, that they thought it was so cute, or I heard a lot of people say oishi so, that looks delicious. Um, that's Japan for you. You guys have a good one, that's the end of our aquarium tour.